Look at that. Look at that grass. Look how green that shit is. All this, all this shit, a couple months ago, dead as fuck. Completely fucking dead. A couple months ago, me, completely fucking dead in my core. Totally fucking dead in my core. Okay? I'm feeling pretty green. I'm feeling pretty, pretty, uh, pretty colorful. <coughs> Excuse me, very alive. Uh, a little choky. Been smoking cigarettes since the hospital. It's like a, it's a great reprieve there. It's fucking my life. It's fucking good. There's some lovely, um, I hope you guys can hear this. I was, um, <clears throat> they opened up the pool in the apartment complex on Friday, about 5 o'clock or something, and yesterday was here. And it was really, really cold. It was really, really cold. But I just went for it, and I was underwater. And, you know, this shit shocks your sexual nervous system. Really, really cool. Well, I'm under there, I'm like, you know, I've been doing my yoga and everything, and I was almost doing this, this, I don't know, man, I'm not trained in Tai Chi or anything, but I was like, I carry a lot of tension in my legs, and so I held at the bottom of the pool, see, I think you should see that, at the bottom of the pool, I held this stance, and because I'm in the pool, a lot of weightlessness, um, but I locked in with my feet, and then I used my arms to pull the water around and keep me, and keep me solid, and like, doing yoga, and doing all of this crap, has just like, it's all but about listening to my body, and what my body tells me, and how I truly feel, you know, like, I'm really sensitive, and so sometimes people tell me I'm sensitive, and that shit hurts my feelings, you can all laugh at the irony of that statement, <coughs> oh, no. oh. But that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's what yoga is for me. That's really what it, that's really what yoga is at its core. It's like, listening to what your body tells you without any sort of judgment. Like my shoulders, I've got some tension in my shoulders right now. And so I do this little basic moment, and I go back and forth, and I just listen to my body telling me that I've got some tension in my shoulders, you know? Uh, I, most, all of my, ten, almost all of my, like a huge chunk of my tension is stored in my left leg. Um, and so, you know, I try and tighten it here, and then I'll hold my weight on my right leg, and keep that tight, and then I'm like, ah, yes, okay. And then I put my foot down, and I root myself in Mother Earth, and I let her take that tension from me. I send that tension into into the earth. I, I was listening to this really cool thing about grounding and like the electrical charge. We are very positively charged throughout the day as we do our stuff and eat and drink and you know just go about our daily lives. And Mother Earth, the poles and and everything are, are is is a, is a ground, right? When you plug your uh, when you plug your uh, like a power strip in, it's the real thick one that goes into the outlet, that's your ground, right? And that's the one that stops you from, like, having an electrical fire? Well, we are electrical beings. Uh, the way our neurons work and tell our muscles to do what they need to do is through electricity. Um, and so we become positively charged throughout the day. And Mother Earth is this beautiful conductor that will take our positive energy and maybe give us a little bit of negative energy to balance us, to pull us back down to reality. To pull me back down for, to reality. Because like, I'm not 
not always, I'm not always here. I'm not always here. I'm not always <clears throat> enjoying the grass. Um, you know, sometimes I'm way the fuck over there, way the fuck over there, and y'all have no idea what the fuck I'm pointing at, and so you guys don't know where I am. And the people that love me and the people that are around me don't know where I am. And man, I can be sitting on the same couch with you and be a, and be a million miles away, <clears throat> off in space. And that's where my art comes from. I mean, when I'm like playing music and, you know, uh, writing my poetry and, you know, uh, my doodles are elementary, but I, I enjoy them. Um, when I'm doing that stuff, like that's, you know, that's where I'm at. I'm way, I'm way over there. Way the fuck over there. Um, but there's a lot of beauty way the fuck over there. And there's a lot of beauty right here. There's a lot of beauty right here. And there's a lot of beauty right in here, in my chest, and in my tummy. And, like, it's a lot of beauty. And sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget that when I don't see it. And I can end up in some really, really dark places. And I'm not alone in that. I'm not. These are like... <laughs> nothing I'm saying is unique or all that original. It's just what it is to me. Um, I just woke up. I'm not eating. I haven't, I haven't drank anything. I did just take my meds. So I'm going to write that down on my journal. Meds. Check mark. Good stuff. Um, but I watched... Joel Haver, this guy that does uh, these great, uh, like, short films and stuff on YouTube. He's been doing it for, uh, he's been doing it for years, but I just found him probably right at the start of the pandemic last year. Um, and I love his content. I love his content. It's fucking hilarious. It's very human. Uh, yeah, really, really, really good stuff. Funny. Very, very funny, and um, and he's been doing that, putting his blood and sweat and his tears and his soul into his content, and he just got his silver and gold uh, YouTube play buttons. He hit his hundred thousand and then his million right around a similar time, and he <laughs> he said he got his silver hundred thousand subs um, after the gold one came, which I thought was really funny. Um, but he, uh, he opened those up and, and just kind of talked about them. Um, like in a park in Vermont. On a picnic, like, I'm totally ripping him off with this whole thing. Um, but that was a great idea. I thought it was awesome. It was really pretty good. I needed, I needed to be out here in the bay right now. Um, and he was just talking about, like... <sighs> do what you love as much as you can. Like, he has been granted an incredible opportunity to do what he loves and finally he can make some money. Wasn't always making that money. Like, was not... <laughs> like he talked very openly about, you know, there was a long time where he wasn't making money. But he did what he loved. He did what he enjoyed. He enjoyed his animations and his, and his short films. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's all really, really cool. And I've had, like, a lot of family, like I mentioned, that, oh, yeah, I do the stream, and, and I love it. You guys should come hang out. Well, like, can you make any money doing that? I'm like, fuck you. Who cares? It's for fun. I enjoy it. If someday I end up making money doing it, hell, fuck yeah, that's awesome. Guys, that's kick fucking ass. But if it never happens, it never happens. And I'll, you know, work like a, a bud tending job helping, you know, six people pick the right weed or something. Or in 20 years, whenever mushrooms become illegal, uh, become legal in Oklahoma, at least for medicinal use, I will, I would love to do that kind of thing. Um, because that's, I love that kind of shit. I love sharing, I love gathering wisdom from people, 
anyone? Anyone? Everyone's got a little bit of wisdom to share. Some more than others. Some more valuable wisdom than others. <laughs> <coughs> but everybody's got it. Everybody's got wisdom to share. Um, and I really enjoy sharing my own, my limited wisdom. Um, so, I'm just going to try really, really hard to do at least one or two things that I love every single day. Like, and they can be small, you know, like my, like my yoga. I mean, I only do that for maybe 15 minutes in the morning, you know. Um, sometimes 30 if I'm really, like, just really connected to Mother Earth, I will do it for, like, half an hour, um, as long as it feels good. Um, and try really hard not to spend the entire 15, 16 or so hours of every 24-hour day that I'm awake concerning myself with what everyone else wants or needs or would like to see. Um, obviously, I've got to take some of those because all I got is that 16 hours every day, right? And uh, I have enough anxiety to live, so I don't want to. I don't want to share any of that anxiety. With anybody, but, um, yeah, like. Kind of rambling in circles, but it's, oh my I'm looking at this puddle with the ripples. You know, I was just looking. That's how we'll end it. We'll look at these ripples for a minute.